Hello, my dear students. Today we'll be understanding one very simple and important chapter, decimals, fractions, introduction. Let's start with fractions. Now, what exactly is a fraction? The fraction is a number which represents a part of whole. Let us understand from this example. This is a rectangular bar that we have divided in three equal parts. Let us highlight one part. Sure, therefore it is one part of the whole which is divided in three equal parts. So here we can think of the fraction 1 upon 3. Let us take one more example where we have rectangular bar divided into six equal parts. Let me highlight four parts, correct, out of six equal parts. So here we can think of the fraction 4 upon 6. Clear with this? Let us take one more example. Okay, this is a circular pizza as we can see, which is divided into four equal parts. Now we have one part, if we remove, so remaining will be three parts out of four. So here we can think of the fraction three upon four. So basically, as we can see, in all the fractions such as one upon two, two upon five, 13 upon 100 and so on, the numbers below the division line is called denominator or the divisor and the number above the division line is called numerator or the dividend. Clear? So remember these terms numerator and denominator. Clear? Very good. Let us proceed. So now let us discuss decimal fractions. Now a fraction which has 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 or such multiple of 10 in the denominator is called decimal fraction. That means your denominator should contain okay, only 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Clear with this? Very good. Let us understand few examples. 18 upon 17. You only concentrate in the denominator. Your denominator should be 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Consider a denominator. In denominator we have 17. So now you decide whether 18 upon 17, is it a decimal fraction? The answer is no. So simple. We'll take one more example. Where fraction we have 65 upon 10. Concentrate in the denominator. Kya hai denominator mein 10. So is it a decimal fraction? Of course, yes. So simple. Okay, you already understood. Now, one more example. 223 upon 45. Denominator mein sirf hona chahiye 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh, so on, so on, so on. Denominator mein kya hai? 45. So, kya ye decimal fraction hai? Answer is no. You have understood already. Very good. Achha, what about 2 upon 70? Achha, abhi thoda sa confusion hoga. But the answer is no. Because it should be only 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Next is 1, 3, 3 upon 10. Think of it. Of course, yes. Decimal fraction. So simple. Now the next is 7 upon 100. And the answer is yes. Let us proceed. Now from exercise 51, write whether the following fractions using decimal fraction or not. No. Next is 25 upon 10. Yes. Then we have 41 upon 100. 
of course, yes. Next, 85 upon 34, yes or no, yes or no, no. Fifth, is 235 upon 50, confusion, kya hoga, kya hoga, no. 13 upon 1000, easy, eh? yes. Next, 1 upon 100, thumbs up. 14 upon 35, thumbs down. Now, converting fraction to decimal point. Now, divide karna hoga. We are given fractions. We have to convert into decimal point. So, look at the calculation. We have 27 inside and 10 outside because we are divisor and that, okay, we have to divide 27. So, we have 10, 2s are 20 and the remainder is 7. Then put decimal point here 0, 10, 7s are 70. Subtract remainder 0. Clear with this? So, your answer is 2.7. Very simple. Now, let us understand shortcut method for converting fractions to decimal point. And the question is 27 upon 10. Now, we will be understanding shortcut method. Clear? We have three steps. First, write the number in the numerator as it is. Now, what number we have in the numerator? 27. So, we write 2, 7. Step number 2. We count number of zeros in the denominator. Now, in the denominator, we have 10. So, number of zeros, 1. Sure with this? Great. Now, step number 3. Put decimal point before that many digits. We have number of zeros, 1. So, we always count from right to left. Right to left. So, from right, leaving one digit, we place decimal point. Simple, eh? So, answer is 2.7. What simple, eh, na? Very good. Now, write the following fractions using decimal point, 14 upon 10, simple division. So, we have 10, 1s are 10, what's the remainder? 4, we put decimal point and there's 0 and 10, 4s are 40. Now, the remainder, zeros. clear. So, your final answer is 1.4. Take any simple. Kya baat hai? Next is 582 divided by 10. Let us divide. Clear? Now, we first select 58. Think 10. Hai. So, 10 fives are. Correct. How much is 10 fives are? 50. Now, we subtract. What's the remainder? 8. We bring that 2 below. That is 10. 8s are 80. Now, we subtract. What's the remainder? 2. Now, we put that decimal point. Clear with this? And 0. Now, think of it. 10. How much are 20? 2s are. And now, we subtract. What's the remainder? Zeros. So, here we finish. Clear with this? Okay. Here we stop. And the answer is 58.2. Sound about simple? Very good. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much and all the very best. Great.